Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to Home Choir. Welcome to a very unusual sing and send. We're going to be learning to sing a piece and then recording it all in one session. Not the kind of thing we normally do. Normally, of course, we teach the piece, give you a bit of time to get used to it, and then we do a separate sing and send session. But this one, I think, is quite straightforward. It is a unison piece. We'll learn the tune as we warm up. And, uh, and then we'll just treat it as a slightly different sing and send. Now, of course, many of you won't be uh, recording today. You might be watching this later on or at a time that's convenient to you. But do sing along with the session. Get used to the shape of the tune. In particular, there are a couple of little bits I'll need to just point out as we go through the verses. But do please, everyone, if you wouldn't mind, uh, send us in a recording for this because the more voices we have, well, the better. Now, uh, let me pop my headphones on. Marvellous and good afternoon, all of you. Glennis says, applaud your ambition. Let's see how you feel about that in about 40 minutes' time, Glennis. <laughs> well, the thing, the thing is, here on Home Choir, you've probably gathered, we don't like to stand still, we don't want to do the same thing the same way all the time, always looking for ways to, I think, streamline things, make things uh, more accessible, make them more enjoyable, and in this case, allow us to learn and record a piece in one session so that we can have another lovely recording for our Christmas repertoire. We already have a nice little stack from last year. Gaudé Te is already coming together. We've had over 50 submissions, which is brilliant, still with a week to go. Uh, so we should end up with a really nice array. Everything from Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer and Silent Night and the Star to these more medieval carols, which will, of course add so much to our singing. Now just bear with me a moment, I need to do the all important sound checks. The piano is very quiet today, let's do something about that. Here we go. Okay, I think we'll get away with that. We will definitely need the magnificent acoustic of the cathedral. In fact, today I think we need to forego the cathedral and step into Patchway Abbey, which was left ruined by Henry VIII, of course. And uh, let me just, I'm gonna need to turn up the acoustic slightly. There we go. Ooh, that's a big acoustic. There we are. Patchway Abbey, everyone. You heard it here first. <laughs> so that's all sounding good. Uh, I just need to check a couple of the uh, couple of buttons work. A little bit of behind the scenes stuff. Um, you know I have my lovely stream deck here, which I use to control all of these amazing things that come on and off screen. Well, it's been broken since the summer. I think I might have mentioned this. The company that makes this, a, a brilliant company called Elgato, who don't pay me to advertise their stuff but frankly if they wanted to reach out and sponsor any of these uh, they'd be very very welcome to because I love their stuff um, but they broke the stream deck with an update and they have been working with me behind the scenes to try and fix it for about three months and uh, it is fixed so when I press this button <gasps> lovely now you see hopefully you will see no difference but from my point of view it's working the way it used to before they broke it and uh, every time I've pressed a button for about, yeah, three months, it hasn't worked the way that I'm used to. And it's always it's been a bit jarring. It's a bit like a problem with your car. You know, you go to change the gear and it, it changes gear, but it struggles a little bit. And oh, it's just like a huge weight has been lifted, ladies and gentlemen. So that's working. That is the score. Those of you worried and concerned can't seem to get the score out of the Dropbox. It is in there. Uh, look in the folder that says, please don't share with anyone else. That being said, I am going to show the score up on screen. And if I just give you a little preview of what that looks like, you see all the words are here. I've even marked it up with where we're going to need to breathe and where we're going to need to sing through as this is chant. So it will be all up here on the screen for you to sing along with. So I hope that that... Uh, makes up for it if you do have a problem getting the score it is definitely in the Dropbox though I've just checked and can we see the sing and send we can marvelous it's all working fantastic I love it when that happens I love it when a plan comes together well look great to see so many of you here live and many more of course watching later on hundreds of people uh, are subscribed to Home Choir this year and catch up with us at a time is convenient to them. Thank you everyone who is doing that, particularly if you're going to record and send in for us. We love having your singing all together 
and if you've never done it before if you're a new subscriber well maybe make this the project that you dip your toe in the waters that is the fun that is sing and send uh, because we would love to include your voice in our next mix i hope you all enjoyed the g's who joy at the weekend what a wonderful recording. What a great way to kind of tie a little bow on the classical pieces that we've recorded this year. Sing and Send next year, I want to include a broader range of repertoire, perhaps some simpler pieces. Uh, I, I did enjoy last week with Gaudete, everyone, with you learning all four parts and then sending them in. I've had a bit of a tinker around with what I've had already. Bearing in mind, we still have a week before submissions are closed, so it's not in any way the finished project, but I've already uh, transposed all of the submissions in from lower voiced choristers, singing down in the tenor and bass octave, up to the soprano, and the soprano's down to basses. And I have a couple of things to tweak, because if you just do that with someone's voice, I mean, if, if you move a man's voice up an octave, they sound uh, like a chipmunk. And if you move a lady's voice down an octave, they sound like a Muppet, as in an actual Jim Henson, yay, sort of sound. <laughs> go, day, tea, go, day, tea, sort of, <laughs> which is slightly hilarious, but not quite what we're going for. So I need to tweak that a little bit in order so it doesn't sound like a choir of Kermit. Um, I know there's people going, we want to hear it. Just bear with me. Um, but it works as a, as a concept. Sing and send, using everything actually works. So uh, huge, huge thanks to all of you. And I think we might try a few more of those next year. Anyway, getting ahead of myself. Uh, let me welcome all of you watching. And those of you watching us later on, those of you that give us likes and comments and subscribe, huge thanks to all of you and to everyone who catches up with Home Choir at a time that suits you. Thank you. Hello to everyone who's here live but not in the live chat. As always, I'm going to start by welcoming Helen and Bill and Val out there in California. Lovely to see all of you and hope you're having a great day. Hello to Sue and Tony and Sally and Annie and Maureen. Hello to Katie and Huyen. Hello to Val. Hello to Anne and Linda. Hello to Charlotte and Nikki. And to everyone else who's watching at the moment but not natching away with these fine people uh, over here. And hello to all of you. Gosh, the chat is moving quite quickly today. Uh, let's see. How is everyone and who is here? Patricia, I hope you managed to find the score. Uh, it, As I say, it is in the Dropbox, but it will be nice and big on screen for you to sing along with if you weren't able to. Uh, Colette, I love the term homies. <laughs> yo, 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 my homies. It just it doesn't work. It really doesn't work. A, a middle-aged white British guy saying, yo, my homies, it just... No, no, that will be the last time I say that. But it's great to see all of you home choir choristers. And a very good afternoon to you. Hello to Atty. Hello to Alison. A very warm welcome to Alicia. Thank you for joining us and welcome to home choir. Hello to Barbara. Hello, Carol. Hello, Carolyn. Hello, Colette, my homie. Hello, Dave. Hello, Diane. Hello, Dorothy. Hello, Eileen. Hello, Fiona. Hello, Gaynor. Hello, Jill. Hello, Glennis. Hello, Gina watching later on. Hello, Epi. Hello, Jackie. Hello, Janet. Hello, Jill. Hello, Jill. Hello, Judith. Hello to Karen. Hello, Kareth. Hello, Kathy. Uh, happy birthday for tomorrow, Kathy. Really looking forward to it. Hello, Kit Kat. Hello, Leslie. Hello, Linda. Hello, Lisa. Hello, Lorraine. Hello, Nikki. Hello, Patricia. Hello, Ruthie. Hello, Sheila. Hello, Shan. Hello, Susanna. Hello, Suzanne. Hello, Terry. Hello, Terry. Hello, Virginia. Hello, Wendy. Hello, all of you. Thank you so much for being here. And hope you're all having a good one. You know, all is well here. We have been uh, busy over the last couple of days, as I'm sure you've said. Uh, oh, no, yet, not, not yet, says Patricia, but you'll see the screen. You're so welcome. Hope it all works. Uh, you've been doing to the house what I did to, to my shelves. You reached the same point, Jill. Uh, we just went, I can't take it anymore. I've got to tidy. Well, we, I did the same thing this morning to our front room, to our living room. I, I basically spent three hours today... Uh, tidying up, sorting out shelves, reorganising furniture, hoovering it all, ready for Christmas. It looks so, so lovely in there. I have this warm, slightly smug glow of uh, having done a whole load of housework and uh, earned quite a few brownie points. So, yes, pat, pat on the back. So I think we should uh, get started, everyone. We've got a gorgeous piece to learn today, a medieval carol from the 7th century. Okay, very, very old hymn, very, very beautiful. Hope you enjoy it. Hello to Hilary, who's just joined us. Hello, Gloria. Lovely to see you. And uh, to anyone else, I hope I haven't missed anyone off the list. There's Eileen as well. 
Hello, Eileen. Lovely to see all of you. And uh, let's begin, shall we? So make sure you've got everything you need for the session. If you can sing and send today, we won't be starting the recording just yet. It'll probably be five or ten minutes into the broadcast. But if you could have your equipment ready, that would be fantastic. Also, make sure you have that all-important drink, something to stay hydrated. Cheers. Vitamin C for me. I am trying to cut down. And if you believe that, I have a bridge to sell you. Let me give you a chord. We'll have the B-flat chord today. So choose from any of those notes and sing home choir for me, everyone. Are you ready? Here we go. And... Uh... Oh. Absolutely. Absolutely splendid. What a majestic sound. And I'm hoping to capture that majestic sound today as we learn and then sing and send a brand new piece. The piece is called Creator of the Stars of Night. The sheet music is in the description uh, and also on the Dropbox and will be shown here on screen as it is very much out of copyright, this piece. Written in the 7th century, we think and uh, very much looking forward to teaching it to you shortly. I think I'll go full screen, actually, so that we can uh, just quickly run through the tiny number of notices and get on with the warm-up and the birthdays today. So, of course, Friday this week, we are very much in uh, Christmas mode. We'll be singing Christmas carols in a jazz style. And this Sunday, well, Sunday morning, we will sing beautiful Christmas music as well, including your performance, everyone, of Silent Night, which you recorded for me last year. And uh, those of you who are very much in the maelstrom of Christmas performances, I see people talking about, I've only got four carol services, I've only got six more to go. I really do uh, feel for you. I'm in the same boat. We love this every year, don't we, everyone? Those of us that sing in choirs, Christmas is a wonderful time, but then you look at your diary and think, I am, I'm singing constant Christmas music for the next three weeks, and then I have actual Christmas to deal with. So just sending lots of love to all of you. And let's warm up, shall we? Let's take a nice deep breath and sigh. <sighs> Fabulous. And again, and a deeper sigh. <sighs> Splendid. And let's roll our shoulders around. And I'll say good afternoon to, uh, hello, Jen, nice to see you, Jen. <laughs> and hello to Marie, hello to Breda, hello anyone who's joined us. There's Wendy as well. Wonderful. Roll those shoulders back. Patricia says, my cat Arthur is watching today, so let's all say hello to Arthur. Hello, Arthur. Hope you're a good boy. Unlike my cat Gilbert, who's a naughty chap. Right, shoulders up to your ears. Deep breath, and as you breathe out, let your shoulders fall and relax. Splendid. Just roll that head around. Be gentle with yourselves. Fabulous. Bit of a stretch. Okay. Let's uh, step into the Abbey. We're in Patchway Abbey today, not just the cathedral. Much bigger sound. So let's just hum together on that note. And... Could you all sing for me? Ma, 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 ma. Lovely. Now we'll sing. Ma, 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 ma. And. Ma, 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 ma. Very nice. Now we'll sing. Ma, 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 ma. Listen. line. And listen. Ma, 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 ma. And. Ma, 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 ma. 
Before we, before we sing happy birthday for uh, not one but two lovely home choristers tomorrow, I'd like to welcome Soraya. Hello, Soraya. Uh, hello to anyone who's joined us. There's uh, Jackie as well. Hello, Jackie. Uh, hello to Mike. Hello, all of you. Thank you so much for being here today. Now, tomorrow we're celebrating not one but two home choir birthdays to dear Kathy. Uh, who is celebrating her birthday tomorrow, the 1st of December, everyone, and also to my dear friend Craig, uh, who is turning <laughs> tomorrow. Uh, he's older than me, and uh, he'll hate the fact that I've pointed, out, uh, pointed that out to all of you. So to Kathy and to Craig, have a wonderful birthday tomorrow, and we'll all sing for you now. So there's our note, everyone. Kathy and Craig, after two, one, two. Happy birthday to you. to both of you. Have a fantastic day. All the best people are born in December. Uh, welcome to Leslie and to Michael and to Jill and to anyone who's joined us uh, in the last few minutes. Happy birthday to Daniel as well tomorrow. Uh, Glennis's grandson is 18 tomorrow. Amazing. Have a great day, Daniel. And uh, thanks for lending us your grand on so many occasions. Now then, we're going to learn this new piece which is called Creator of the Stars of Night. And the tune, well, the tune, we've just sung it, everyone. Um, before you start looking at this going, those of you with perfect pitch going, hang on, hang on, we were singing in D major, and this is in E flat. I have taken uh, the liberty, as I often do, of taking it down a semitone to make it a little bit more easy uh, for people to sing along. And also because, well, there are certain instruments that we do enjoy hearing and uh, playing here on home choir that happen to be rather comfortable in the key of D major. I shall say no more <coughs> can today. Okay, so we're going to sing it along with a recording that I did last week. I'm just going to take you through the first verse. Now, I've marked this up uh, mainly so that we can have a sense of where the, f the ebb and flow of this music goes. So if you see a line, a diagonal line going down through the music, that is a breath. I've marked up pauses, and I've also written tiny little arrows uh, over some of the commas. If I show you some of the other verses, which are slightly easier to read because I've uh, blown the words up, you can see here after medicine, there's an arrow, and that's a lift. It's not a break, but that's a lift. So that would be, hast found the medicine full of grace. Okay, so I've marked up the score. I hope you'll find this useful. And we're not going to press record just yet because we're going to learn this piece. So... <laughs> sing this first verse for you. In fact, I'll, we'll put the recording on and let's go all the way through it with each verse and just listen, sing along as you as you get to know it. It is a very, very straightforward, very beautiful little tune and uh, you need to sing it in as plain chanty a sort of way as possible. So we don't have great big glumping dynamic contrasts. We don't have accents or tenuto markings. It's all got to be each phrase has got to be one long exhalation of breath. Okay, so we start here. Okay, so there is our chord. There's our note. I'll put the acoustic on and here we go. Nice deep breath and... Oh. 
pass first. To God the Father, God the Son, and God the Spirit, three in one. Lord, honor, might, and glory be from age to age eternally. Amen. There we are. So that was a listen through. And I do concede when you're uh, encountering a new piece for the first time, uh, not having the words underneath the, wo uh, the notes, as someone said, is a little bit tricky. But of course, that tune. We'll be singing it, we'll be learning it, and uh, by the time you've finished recording today and singing along, you will know this really, really very well indeed. It is a very catchy little tune. I found myself whistling it as I was tidying up the front room today. So, um, yeah. <laughs> now, some people saying, can't do two, two phrases in one breath. That's absolutely fine. You breathe where you need to, but if you can go through, if, for example, here on screen you see Lord, honour, might and glory be from age to age eternally. That's a big ask. Please breathe any way you like, except after the word be. All right, stagger the breathing. I can sort that out. I can smooth that out, but please try and avoid. If you see the line indicating go straight on, you could go... Lord, honour, might and glory be from age, age eternally. Take out a word, but just see if you can go all the way through. And of course, if, if that's not true, just breathe where you need to. Let me sort out any issues otherwise, all right? Now, uh, yes, Elizabeth is saying, earworm ahead, beware. Oh, yes. I need to update the T-shirt, don't I? It's all very well having an, an earworm T-shirt, but I think we need to have a warning earworms ahead. So let's just have a quick look at that tune. Um, it is a very, very pretty little tune. Lots of moving by step, so you just need to be careful to make sure you don't treat it as a sort of a grey block and uh, and sing with an, an expressionless face. That's one of the, the, the difficult things when you sing music that has this sort of slow chant-like feel is you just t switch off your face and that just pulls the, te the uh, uh, not just the tempo down but also the pitch and so you end up going flat. So we really don't want that. Um, so let's just have a little look. Let's just sing that first line. Creator of the stars of night with me and... Creator of the stars of night. Lovely. Next line. Thy people's everlasting light. Again, sorry. Thy people's everlasting light. With me. Thy people's everlasting light. Super. Jesus, Redeemer. Save us all. So just a tiny lift after Jesu, a tiny lift after Redeemer. Sing for me and Jesu, Redeemer, save us all. And the last phrase, and hear thy servants when they call with me. And hear thy servants when they call. Super. Now what we're going to do, I'm just going to uh, put this on screen. I'm, I want you to ignore the words now, everyone. We're going to sing the tune three times in a row, just as written on here, four phrases. Uh, I've taken the arm in off the end, so we'll sing it three times in a row. In fact, i tell you what. No. I'm going to put the last one up where we have the arm in. We'll sing the verse three times, and then we'll sing the arm in a couple of times. Then we're going to hit record, and I'm going to take you through how we're going to capture this. We're not going to capture it all in one go. I have a plan, ladies and gentlemen. Some thought has gone into this, believe it or not. Here we go. So let's sing it to bar. And... Bar, 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 bar. Lovely. And again, a bit 
faster. Ba, 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 ba. This is the Amen which goes. Amen. Sing with me. Amen. One more time for luck. And see people in the comments saying Baldrick strikes again Blackadder for those of you that don't live in the UK well worth checking out the uh, the phrase I have a cunning plan has all sorts of connotations I have a plan so cunning uh, you could sharpen it and call it a weasel no you'd use it as a pencil uh, as, as cunning as a fox that's just been awarded professor of cunning at Patchway University so what we're going to do everyone is bring the sing and send in to play now and I really don't I don't want you to stress about this there'll be people oh, we've barely sung it it will be fine I have as Baldrick would say a cunning plan so the way this is going to work in a moment we're going to hit record and you know those of you that have done this before you need to listen to me on headphones and capture the sound on a device uh, that is not uh, playing me out loud so we get your voice and not me um, I'll ask you to press record shortly and when we do, I just want you to sing, follow the instructions on screen and send it in at the end. No editing, no retakes, just just send it in. Sing and send. It's all in the name. Now, the way we're going to do it is in a moment, I'm going to ask you to press record. Then we're going to listen to verse one on its own and then we're going to sing it twice. All right. With the recording. Then we'll do the same for verse two, for verse three, for verse four and verse five. So you'll get to listen through to it. And by all means, sing along when we're listening through and then we sing it twice. So if you like to, you can actually sing it three times for each verse, one after the other. And then that's it at the end. OK, I will then take all of those recordings, chop them all up, put them in the right order. And it will sound beautiful and fluid as if we sang it just the once all the way through. That's the magic of digital choirs these days. All right. So that's how it's going to work. Please trust me on this. It's going to sound fantastic. And if there are any little slips, any errors, don't worry about it, just sing and send. So if I could ask you to get your devices ready, we are going to uh, press record in just a moment. And uh, I'm just going to quick now a sip whilst people scrabble to get their bits and pieces together. Uh, Mike, quite right, we sing the last syllable of Amen on the final. It's Amen. Absolutely right. Thank you for checking. That's entirely right. Lots of people saying hello to Arthur the cat. Absolutely. Hello, Arthur from Gilbert, who is currently downstairs asleep on the clean laundry. So if I could ask you, everyone, those of you that are going to sing for me, uh, whether you're going to sing along live as we're streaming this or later on, please press record now. Marvellous. Thank you so much. And do please enjoy yourselves. Just put that score down, uh, put the uh, device down and uh, just enjoy it. So let's bring the score back on screen. So we're going to listen to it, uh, just this first verse, and then we're going to sing it a total of two times. All right, everyone? Remember, chanting, keep it lovely and pure, lovely and simple. If you can, take great big breaths where those diagonal lines are going across the score. That will really help, but otherwise breathe where you need to. All right, everyone? So let's listen to the first verse. Okay, here we go. Creator of the stars on high, thy people's everlasting light, Jesus, Redeemer, save our soul, and hear thy servants when they call. 
So that's the first verse. Uh, the, the first two breaths after night and light are quite substantial. And the breath after Save Us All is a little bit shorter. So just be ready for that, everyone. OK, so we're going to sing along with that twice in total. And so your note is there. Don't forget to smile. All right, I know it's plain chant. Doesn't mean you can't enjoy yourselves. Right, take a nice deep breath. And let's sing together. And... Creator of the stars of night, thy people's everlasting light, Jesus, Redeemer, save us all, and hear thy servants when they That was the first take. As I say, any little slips and errors, don't worry about it. Just enjoy your singing. Let's do it again. Same place, same thing. There's your note. Here we go. Nice deep breath. And. Creator of the stars of night, thy people's And that's verse one. Let's have a look at verse two. So here, thou grieving that the ancient curse should doom to death a universe. It's a lot to ask to sing it in one breath. So do stagger the breathing, but please don't breathe after curse. There won't be a lift after thou either. It's just thou grieving that the ancient curse should doom to death a universe. Then a big breath. Hast found the medicine, medicine two syllables, a little left. Hast found the medicine full of grace, breath to save and heal a ruined race. Let's have a listen to it and then we'll sing it twice. Here we go. verse 2. So let's sing it, shall we? Let's take it back. Let's get the end of the previous. Right, so everyone, let's sing Thou Grieving That the Ancient Curse. Nice deep breath. Here we go. And Thou Grieving That the Ancient Curse One more time, please, everybody. Hello, Lisa. Lovely to see you. Hello, Chris. Hello, everyone who's joined us since we started the broadcast. We are singing and sending. Lisa's at Heathrow. Hope you have a safe journey and so good to see you. And I hope you enjoyed your stay in the UK. Uh, now, let's have that one more time, everyone. Oh, and there is, uh, is dear, dear Christine. Christine, we're sending all our love to you and particularly to Terry thinking of you today all right and uh, just hope all goes very well thank you for being here lots of love to you both so everyone let's sing that uh, grieving that the ancient curse here we go and... oops no i pressed the wrong button i pressed the record button which is not what i wanted to do excuse me let's try that again so take a nice deep breath thou grieving and thou grieving that the ancient curse Hast found the med 
Wonderful. Verse 3. Thou camest slight lift, the bridegroom of the bride breath, as drew the world to evening tide, bigger breath. Proceeding from a virgin shrine breath, the spotless victim slight lift, all divine. Let's have a little listen to verse 3, everybody. Thou camest the bridegroom of the Super. So we'll have that one. We'll record that now, singing twice. Um, just bearing in mind the breath at the end of Bridegroom of the Bride as drew the world. It's quite short, that one. So let's sing Thou Camest. That little lift after Camest. Nice deep breath, everyone. Here we go. Thou Camest, the Bridegroom of the please everyone same thing hope this tune is starting to go in I'm afraid once it goes in there's not much to get it out try listening to the earworm song if this gets stuck in your head and that will help shift it obviously in favour of the earworm song here we go Thou Camest nice deep breath Thou Camest the bright bloom of the bride as true the four doing really well everyone this one uh, again lifts at the commas at whose dread name majestic now breath all knees must bend lift all heart must bow big breath and things celestial thee shall own breath and things terrestrial slight lift lord alone let's have a little listen to it at whose dread name majestic now all Let's sing it twice, everyone. Good stuff. So that note, at whose dread name? Here we go, nice deep breath, and... At whose dread name, majestic now, all knees must bend, all hearts must bow. Deep breath. And things celestial. Two more verses, everyone. O oh, thou whose coming is with dread to judge and doom the quick and dead. So at least take a huge breath and sing as far as you can through this. If you need to take a breath, take out a word and breathe, but please don't breathe after dread if you can. Preserve us, slight lift, while we dwell below breath from every insult of the foe. Let's have a listen to it. All those Super, 
for stuff. There we are. So let's take this one back. Let's sing it, please, everyone. And uh, let me just check out the right place. Oh. Yes, I have. Good. So if you would take a deep breath for me, everyone, we're singing this for the first of two times. Here we go. And. All again so uh, verse 5 I'm pretty sure we sang verse 4 twice Jen uh, at least I certainly hope we did <laughs> it certainly felt like we did so verse 5 everyone for the second time here we go and oh, Verse 6, everyone. To God the Father, God the Son, and God the Spirit, three in one. Now this one, a little lift. To God the Father, lift. God the Son, breath. And God the Spirit, little breath. Three in one, big breath. Lord, honour, lift. Might, lift. And glory be from age to age eternally. And then a very long amen. So be ready for that. We did four once. Okay. We'll do six twice. And then we'll do four one more time. There's a lot of verses, everyone. <laughs> so let's have a listen to it. Here it is, verse 6. To God the Father, God the Son, and God the Spirit, three in one. Lord, honour, might and glory be. we'll leave the amen we'll leave the amen we'll do that one separately okay so this one is a big one this is the last verse uh, yeah this is the last verse so stagger that breathing in lord honor might and glory be from age to age eternally that's a big sing take as big a breath as you can at all of the opportunities in this verse so to god the father god the son and god the spirit three in one breathe in all of the places where you've got a diagonal line and really fill up for those second uh, that second half of the verse so there's your notes huge breath everyone here we go to god the father god the If you do take the opportunity to really fill up before the uh, reverse starts and then you top up your breath in all of those diagonal lines, you can get through uh, those last two without having to take too many breaths, maybe even in one. So let's do, it, do that one more time, please, everyone. We've got to sing Amen and then one more sing through verse four, because I promised. All right, so here we go. Verse six for the second and final time. Huge breath. There's your starting note. And... To God the Father, God the Son, and God the Spirit, three in one. Lord, honour, might and glory be from age to age eternally. If there was interruption in the last one, oh, we only sang verse one. Okay, 
Um, I think we're just going to need to press on, everyone, because I know time is a wasting. I want us to sing the Amen twice and sing it. We'll go back and do verse four again, and uh, and then we'll leave it. I think it will be absolutely fine. It'll sound fab. So let's hear the Amen. Okay, so let's sing that together. Note the very long last note. So take a huge breath for me, everyone, and. Lovely. One more, please, everyone. Same thing. Make this as beautiful and as cathedral abbey filling as you can. Here we go. Huge breath. And. just to take it back and we'll do verse one one more time and then I shall let you get on with your day because you were all busy people and I'm ever so grateful that you're coming along and singing with me looking forward to hearing this all mixed together let me check is this verse four uh, it is so at whose dread name majestic now all knees must bend all hearts must bow and things celestial thee shall own and things terrestrial lord alone watch out for the lifts take a huge breath and let's sing it here we go at whose dread name majestic now All knees must bend, all hearts must bow And things celestial we shall own And things terrestrial verse 4. All well. All, it's all fine. People shouting verse 4. We've done verse 4. We've done it again. So that is everything. Can I invite you all please uh, if you'd be so kind to press stop on those now probably quite warm recording devices. If I could ask you to send us those recordings as always to home choir recordings by two weeks time please. By Wednesday December the uh, actually Tuesday, December the 13th, if you'd be so kind. That gives me a few days to get it ready and then it will be uh, premiered before Christmas. Uh, and if you, I, if I, ugh, excuse me, if I could ask you to put creator of the stars, creator of the stars as the email subject, okay? Because uh, that will really help the automated uh, system pick up your email and put it in the right place. Uh, no need to put soprano, alto, tenor, bass, just creator of the stars. Uh, and that will do. So by the 13th of December, if you'd be so kind, you can send it via uh, WeTransfer, you can send it via Google Drive, however you choose to send it, to homechoirrecordings at yahoo.com by December 13th, and then you will be included in the Home Choir premiere uh, of that before Christmas. Now, Sing and Send will return in 2023 uh, with a couple of changes to the uh, repertoire and possibly a couple of new madcap ideas I've had to make it even more fun, even more interesting, even more engaging, because that's what it's all about, isn't it? But in the meantime, everyone, thank you so much for being here today. Uh, thank you if you've been singing. Huge thanks if you've been singing and recording and looking forward to hearing the results of that. Join me on Friday for more beautiful Christmas music of a more, I suppose, familiar tone uh, things like God rest ye merry gentlemen and uh, as we're glad this men of old and a little bit of Vince Guaraldi, uh, he of Charlie Brown, uh, will be singing Christmas Time is Here and lots of lovely Christmas jazz. So uh, looking forward to that enormously. Enjoy the rest of your day. If you're in Choir of the Earth, I may see you later on. But otherwise, have a good one. To Craig and to Kathy, happy birthday for tomorrow. To Christine, we're sending all our love to Terry. And do keep us posted on how he's doing. But we send you lots of love and big hugs. In the meantime, everyone, have a good one. See you soon.